So, someone recommended to me that I do a review of the uh, Signature Plastics Amazing Chocolatier Key Set. I figured since I have this wonderful thing going on on my computer, I figure why not. So, hey everyone, I just want to start this video off thanking whoever watched my previous review. I actually had no idea that doing a review of those key sets would gain so much traction. Um, as of this time, having almost 1,000 views on the video, it seems like a little squirt in the YouTube view pool, but I uh, uh, normally only get about 20 to 30 views a video, so this all seems pretty damn big to me. So thanks all for your input, comments, as well as your likes and dislikes. Without any more time wasting, let's uh, get into what I've got here. Howdy ho! So what are we looking at today? Let's take a look at the SA keycaps known as the Amazing Chocolatier from Signature Plastics. This was a drop set in about mid-August to early August in 2016 and this drop was the first one that absolutely decimated my wallet. I've been waiting tirelessly for this set to ship with good reason. This is my first SA key set and having liked the baby brother of the cylindrical keycap family, the DSA profile, I've been really wanting to bite into this taller, beefier profile long since I even knew what it was called. As you can tell from the name and the colors, this set is based on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, sporting dark chocolate inspired modifiers and milk chocolate styled alpha keys. These things look scrumptious. These set caught my eye because a lot of the time you'll get really colorful SA sets or really bland, boring, tasteless gray ones. Aside from maybe one or two other sets of SA profile keycaps, this is the only one that ever, ever caught my eye. I jumped on it when I saw it drop. You should expect only the highest quality double shot ABS when buying from Signature Plastics. The quality of this set definitely pleases me. Uh, to be expected, the molding from this manufacturer, from this company, are nice and thick. They used an amazing font for it that just screams out, eat me. And they also, you know, the double shot molding method provides a super crisp font. Um, it's just really nice. The Alpha Key font itself is a slightly yellowed, almost creamy white, working well with the light brown they're surrounded by. This light creamy color gives us the illusion that they actually are chocolate. The modifiers and other keys have a white font, yet again giving great contrast between this board's color scheme. Signature Plastics also equips us with some very nice extra keys without any extra cost, including a one and a half unit control key and a 1.25 unit caps lock key. If you have a board that lets you swap those buttons, you can have a more XT flavored layout. Um, both flat and homing dish FNJ keys come complimentary, as well as two forward slashes, one in light brown to, mess, to mix in with the base set or another in dark to mix in with the modifiers. You get two tildes, again, that have the same two color options. You receive an extra up key with a taller incline, most likely in case your keyboard's up key is on a different row, and an FN key, um, as along with a system with two system keys and a meta key for your bottom row. A lot of people have also received the Golden Mass Drop Raffle Key, rumored at the beginning of the drop to be in short supply with about only five and slipped in with the sets kind of like the movie. The company's been very liberal and given us all a chance to enter Willy Wonka's wonderful world. So how does it feel to type on, you might ask? Well, unlike the DSA profile that I reviewed, these keycaps are completely smooth. There's no grit or texture to the tops, so they feel very different. They'll shine quite quickly as my right shift and spacebar are already glistening. I don't mind. Really, it still looks fantastic. I also have to bring up their height. These SA keycaps are gigantic. They have to be the tallest profile out there that you could purchase. And it might take a little bit of time for someone who's used to a lower profile to get used to it. Don't let it put you off. The moment you get used to it, they're amazing, okay? Um, the heavier switches, like my Cheerio MX Greens, are dampened when you slap these big, big hefty caps on. And I love the, the really low-pitched, quiet click now that the keycaps muffle due to their, you know, just overall heft. Um, on a linear board, like my Vermillo, every keystroke sounds like a raindrop. It's like 
it's beautiful. Okay, I, excuse the really horrible, uh, you know, horrible, you know, sound making I just do, but whatever, right? Um, so this drop was supposed to be shipped in February, but like always, something happens and pushes production time back. Um, the projection date from, from August to February was shifted forward, so people started receiving their orders in mid-April. I'm okay with this. Because at the end of the day, you deal with mass drop, you should be expected that group buys won't exactly be overnight delivery. Um, although waiting seven months for a set of keycaps can sound a little crazy outside of the realm of anyone that's really done keyboard stuff lately, seven months isn't exactly um, unheard of to get, you know, high quality drops shipped out to you. Although I'm not very happy with the shipping company that Mastrop used to ship my set, a company whose tracking number doesn't function inside of the border of Canada. If they'd have made it just trackable past the border and made it, you know, so I could see where my package is in my own country, I wouldn't have had to file multiple support tickets and waste my time or Mastrop's or my post offices waiting for these things to arrive. Um, at one point, I even contemplated them being missing, contemplated asking Massdrop for a refund just because I didn't know when I was going to receive them. As a millennial, um, I haven't had to deal with the good old-fashioned 1990s, no tracking, no shipping, no nothing. You get it when it gets here, and if you don't like it, too bad. I haven't had to deal with that, so I'm expecting a little bit better. Um, tracking information, little better updates for something I paid over $100 for. Aside from major gripes mostly being about the shipping, I can't really fault the set on that. But typical from Signature Plastics, we get a few crooked caps in this drop. I'm not too upset or surprised about it because the double shot molding method of making keycaps can be pretty tough and really kind of tricky. The plastic shrinks when the, when the plastic cools down and hardens, so the PPT sets can be even tougher to create. But on my set, I have the N, B, 6, and H keys ever being so slightly twisted. I don't mind though, but you know, still it's a little upsetting. Another thing that a few people weren't all too happy about was when the set dropped, there was in the renders before it was dropped, well, repetition points. Um, the backspace key was rendered to be one word. Um, what do I mean by this? In the render, the key had one word. On the actual caps, when they were shipped out, the backspace key read back space. There's a space in between them that wasn't determined in the early times when we all bought them. Now me, I don't really see this as an issue. I've heard some people filing report tickets for them and I'm not really that picky. I just want it to fit, I want it to look good, and this set does both. Granted, also, Signature Plastics, highly, it's very unlikely that they'll make a new entire mold for some keycaps they already, like, have the molding for. I know in my DSA set that there is a space between the back and space keys on their keys as well. And really, I don't care one bit. It looks fantastic. To sum it all up, the SA caps cup your fingertips nicely, add a fun twist onto your daily keyboard, and I really love them. I love typing on them, and once you get used to the increased height, you can put down about 120 words a minute pretty damn quick. Some people might tell you that they're tiring to use, that they see these as a show car, beautiful to look at, lots of personality behind them, but not a good commuter. They're beautiful, although the feeling of the keycaps and profiles are extremely subjective. You can't argue that the amazing chocolatier keycap doesn't have a charm that won't soon be forgotten. Thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch another review. As always, tell me what you think in the comments. Up next is a de demonstration of me typing on my quickfire stealth once again. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a nice day. No, I don't like the look of it.